Biomechatronics seeks to blur the boundaries between humans and machines and more fundamentally between cells and tissues and synthetic constructs. Well here in Biomechatronics what we really focus on is human movement. Understanding how people move, how they do so so efficiently, uh, so that we can try to replicate it and build better machines which can replace lost limbs or replace lost functionality in existing limbs. So it's a very exciting field to be in right now. The source of my inspiration some time ago is my own body changed. I became an amputee via a mountaineering accident and I wanted to return to mountain climbing. So I fashioned my own limbs and it had a profound effect on my life and as a technologist I want to give that to others. I see it becoming much more ubiquitous. I see it going from something that is kind of hidden, that people cover up, to something that people want to show off that this is new technology and this is as good if not better than the old human limbs. So you imagine if you can build something with this sort of technology that lets them lift more or run faster or just move for a longer period of time before fatiguing, it changes everything. Creativity can be taught. To be creative you have to be willing to take risk. You have to be willing to uh, live in a world of surprises not a predictable world. Life takes us down different paths. Just ask Professor Kishore Wasson. He devised a treatment that fights infection among cancer and AIDS patients. Turns out it's also effective against a parasite in the developing world. Incredibly, he's making sure everyone can afford it, up to 200 million people. Dr. Wasson set out to be a scientist, not a humanitarian. He wound up being both. And that's just some of the thinking from here.